Hi, how you doing? My name is Eric Harrell and in this video I'm gonna show you how I made the remix of The Big Now by Robocoach and Little Ashes, which is this one. I'm kidding, it's this one. Now let's get to the desk. The first thing I'm gonna show you are the scenes. The first one is the one in the intro, this one. This one is a scene by Arturia. What I have done here, I just played the chords and then I automated the FM modulation here. I'll let you listen to it. Let's move to the next one, is the Matrix 12. And I use this one as main synth. I added just a, an EQ and a tremolo effect, a limiter to control the peaks and a sidechain compressor is triggered by the kick and then of course I add some reverb with bus 3 and the delay with bus 4 uh, without the tremolo it sounds like this then I automated the the frequency filter that it's gonna open there and that's it and when you add the side chain it sounds like this Let's move to the next one. I made this one with the alchemy. I used two saw waves, so A and C, and it sounds like this. Then I added an EQ, another EQ to remove the low frequencies, tremolo, tremolator, tremolo. A limiter to control the peaks, a single EQ, I used this one as a filter, a reverb and sidechain compressor and it sounds like this. Let's move to the next one which is a lead Synth. I think this came from a uh, from a logic. Uh, is this one? I didn't do too much to this one. I just added uh, some EQ compressor, EQ, reverb, and then uh, EQ again, side chain and a limiter to control the peaks. And it sounds like this. When you blend all these sounds together, they sound like this. Now let's move to the drop. So to the drop I added pretty much the same scenes but I just added this one, my soul 2. I'll solo it so you can hear it. And this one it came from 
Matrix. I, I think I made this preset back then, so let's have a listen to it without all effects on, on the mixer channel. It's pretty much shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I added an EQ to cut the low frequencies. Another EQ, boosting the high frequencies. A tremolator is a tremolo effect. And a filter. To cut the high frequency they were just too harsh. And then a sidechain compressor. On bus 3 and bus 4 we got always the reverb and the delay, so nothing special. And with the sidechain enabled it sounds like this. Then I added the piano. It is from Contact the Giant. This is beautiful, this one. I love it, I use all the time. I added a uh, tape machine effect. Overdrive. And, on, and then I send the signal to bus 10, where I put to 11, 76, heavily compressed. And then a uh, EQ to cut the low frequencies. And it sounds like this. Just the pr processed signal, you know. Then I blended with the original sound. Now I will uh, play it with and without the, the compression. Then on bus 13, I added the delay on reverb and some EQ to give some space, some depth in the mix. And that's it. On second drop here, I added more uh, notes, I'll show you, you see, this one, more high notes, and that is why it sounds a little different if you compare with the, the first drop. Which is so sick, I love it. <laughs> So now let's move to the bass. So for the bass I used Massive and this is a preset I made from scratch. It sounds like this. What I have done on the mixer channel, I added a Wave Shaper which is a distortion plugin. This is with. Without then an EQ a limiter and then a sidechain compressor triggered by the kick.
and that's it. Let's move to the drums now. So let's start from the kick. I add some uh, distortion, EQ, I made it mono with the gain plugin, and then I add a limiter to control the peaks, as always. Plus, I did some uh, parallel process. I sent the signal to bus 8 to a transient master with the attack the all the way up and sustain all the way down. And then I mixed the, the original sound with the wet one. I'll bypass the transient. So this is without. This is with. Then I sent the signal to another bus, bus 9. I added two compressors to 11.76. I over compressed the kick. And then as before, I mixed the original sound with the wet one. This is without. Let's move on to the snare. For the snare, I use this one. I added some uh, distortion, a transient effect on bus 7, the same technique I used for the kick. And then I send the signal to bus 8, where we got an EQ, a reverb, and, and overdrive. Very easy. And then on the fourth bar, I got the uh, reverb clap, which is this one. What I've done here, I send some saturation, and then I send the signal to a bus six, where I put an EQ to cut low frequencies, delay, reverb. This delay is not like a echo effect, but it's just delaying the signal. And overdrive and sidechain compressor triggered by the kick. I'll bypass the delay so you can hear what I have done here. You see with delay is light delayed so really cool. Let's move on. Next are reverse hi hats. I added some distortion, EQ and sidechain compressor and a reverb on bus 2. And then I got another hi-hat, this one. I added the distortion and EQ. And I sent the signal to bus 2, which uh, there is a, re a reverb. Let's move on, on the next one. Next one is a open hi-hat. Add some distortion. Another distortion, saturation this time, and a reverb with bus 2. Then we got crash and hi-hats. These are from Studio Drama. This is made by Nativi Instrument, if I am not wrong. I added some distortion. Then uh, the toms, they, they are from a Studio Drama again. They sound really good. I just added some distortion, a limiter, and they sound just good. Then let's move on to the, the distorted 808. which is a preset I made with Massive. I added a bit crusher. And then uh, a EQ. I cut the low frequencies. And then I added a limiter to control the peaks. And that's it for this one. Now let's move on to the vocals. So now let's check the vocals. 
This track came from a remix competition, so... I received just one stem. It was already mixed, so really well. Down, dripping, switch, flipping, rage is on the way. I just added some delay, some reverb effect. Here, for example. Takes to wake my eyes. I added this delay and then I added this reverse reverb. I'm gonna soak it up when it happens. And the last thing I added to the vocal is another reverb. This time is a plate reverb. This is really nice. I'm gonna soak it up when it happens. I'll go lights over shade. And that's it for the vocals. Now let's move on the master channel. I'll show you what I added on my one for this remix. So here we are. On the master bus, I added uh, an EQ. I cut the low frequency 20 Hz and the high frequency at 20 kilohertz. Then I added a compressor, but the compression is really subtle, you know. I'll show you. And then I added an NLS bus here. And then I added a Pultec EQ. It's set to zero, all zero here. It's just giving the color of the Pultec because this is an analog tube uh, EQ. And at the end I added a limiter. Now I will play the drop and I will bypass the old effects except for the limiter. So you can hear what I have done here. I will keep them on till the fourth bar and then I will bypass them. So you can hear the difference. And that's it, this was my remix of The Big Now by Robocoach A Little Ashes. Here we are to the end, thanks for watching, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel, I will much appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, I'll make sure to reply to you as soon as I can. That's all for today and see you next time, peace! I'll be crashing through the gates I'm gonna soak it up When it happens I'll go light so
lovers cold covers let them go fireflies chasing into the afterglow I'll go lights over shades 